Hey everyone, and welcome to the Center of Math Thanksgiving special. If you're anything like me, the Thanksgiving table can be a daunting place. I mean, just look at all these options. How do we know what to get first? Well, we can apply some math to this situation. First, we need to figure out how many items we can fit on your average serving plate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move some items up to my plate here. So let's, let's see how many will fit. Get some turkey. I always like a dinner roll. And some green beans. So I'd say about five items fit comfortably on your average serving plate. Could be less, could be more, but we'll say that's about the average. So then we need to start doing some math. So we have 10 items to pick from total and five items that go on the plate. So this sounds a lot like a combination problem. If you'll recall, n choose r for combinations is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So in our case, we have n is 10, 10 items to pick from, and r is 5 for the five items we put on our plate. So this just equals 10 factorial over 10 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial, which equals 252 combinations. So that's 252 ways that we can pick our first dinner plate. The key word there is first. It's Thanksgiving, you got to go up for seconds, right? So that brings up a whole new scenario. Now I have to pick my seconds. Well, it depends what I want to go up for. If I just treat it like the first time and I pick any of the five items from, our, from those 10, then what we have is that we have 10 choose 5 again, and that was our first, times another 10 choose 5 for our second plate, which ends up being 252 squared, or 63,504. 63,504 different Thanksgiving dinners you could have if you just go out for any five items out of the ten each time. But odds are you're probably not going to do that because you're going to want to get some different items. Well, if you're lucky and everything looks delicious, you're going to want the other five items that you haven't tried, right? So you have five items that you picked your first time. You have five items that you didn't pick. So really you're left with one option. So it actually doesn't change, so you had 10 choose 5 for your first, and then you're actually only going to have 5 choose 5 for your second if you want to choose the other 5 that you hadn't chosen originally. But this is just equal to 10 choose 5 times 1. So again, we're back at 252. But now, I don't even think that's the most likely scenario because who doesn't go up for seconds and get more turkey. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. So if we just remove our, some of the items on our plate here, and let's just say we go up for, we know we want turkey, which means we have room for four more options on our plate. So we have four more options to pick, and we're left with nine items to pick from. So again, a combination problem. This time, we again had our 10 choose 5 for the first one. And this time, we're picking 4 from 9. So this will just be 252 times, using our formula again, 9 factorial nine minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. This becomes 252 times 126, which is equal to 31,752. So there are a lot of options. But you could take my personal favorite option and just go ahead and pile everything onto your plate. And I think we know how many options you'll have here, just the one. 
And don't worry, we're not going to calculate the calories of all this food you're piling onto your plate. That'll be just between us. So there you have it, my personal favorite approach. So please don't forget to subscribe and visit us on our website at centerofmath.org. And everyone have a happy Thanksgiving from all of us here at the Center of Math.